All right, today I'm gonna do a quick update on Achilles, the German Shepherd <laughs> that has tried to assassinate me many times. All right, so protection, I always talk about this, and Achilles also going through his process and showing the protection dog process of steps and what you should be looking for in the end, right? So, I always said this bouncing on a leash stuff. is not protection it's beginner protection it's getting a dog to learn how to turn on aggression and bite equipment but it is not protection training it's not a protection trained dog it's a beginner dog so here we started with Achilles on a leash and letting him blow off all over the place just to get the aggressive state of mind teaching him that state for a protection dog and learning how to hit at the same time grab the equipment <laughs> So that's beginner protection. That is not a protection dog. I say this all the time and you see so many places sell protection dogs that they bounce on a leash. There's no skill to that, right? It's just beginner work. Okay, the next thing, testing his real aggression. Have we brought out real aggression? <laughs> So no question, Achilles is absolutely coming for me. Equipment, no equipment, it doesn't matter. He is coming for me. So next step here, he's never seen anything, you know, of hidden equipment. I just put a sweater on with a little hidden sleeve underneath it. I had never done this with him before, so it was just a test. I knew he was going to do it, but I have to test it anyway. When I just put a sweater on and put that there, will he bite it and hold on just like he does with a regular sleeve or the suit? So another test just to make sure as we go along in the process 
he will bite, not knowing what a sweater is, cannot identify the equipment, and no question, <laughs> he does not care. Put anything out there and he is going to bite it, take it, and it's on. So we have that covered. <laughs> now, the real game, and I always say this, the art, the skill of protection dog training is again not a dog bouncing on a leash it's self-control holding position on the body with no leash on and waiting for the moment of attack that is when the dog is allowed to go attack in this particular moment okay so real protection training skilled dogs now highly skilled dogs and real protection dogs are under the ultimate control self-control and understand how to play the game and the rules of the game right without blowing up and going crazy and over emotion and lack of discipline <laughs> okay so Here's Achilles now that we got him to this step, holding the leg with no leash on and staying at here Stacy's leg and waiting for me to go and try to hit Stacy. <laughs> Okay, now the beginning here that we got him here, we'll take these skills into sending him, you know, more self-control, but the end game of protection dogs is self-control, okay? And when they're in high state of aggression, I talk about this all the time, it's very difficult for them to hold, right, when they're in high hostility, <laughs> mode all right so it's them having to think about the game and holding their position on the leg while they're in that hostile aggressive state of wanting to go hit the guy tearing them between two things but that is why it's called an art it takes high skill 
to be able to balance that out properly and not kill a dog's drive while you do that. Okay, and I always say this is different than sport dogs. I say this all the time. With sport dogs, all the sports generally, they're calm, quiet in the bites, except for a bark and hold, right? So, but most exercises within protection of the sports, it's very quiet. They know it's a game. They know it's just chasing a toy, and whether it's shuts and ring sports, okay? it's not aggression and hostility towards the decoys on the field. So it's much easier to control them without leashes on because it's not about man aggression. It's just about going to play with the sleeve or the suit. But this game that we're doing for real home protection is complete opposite. When he is in that leg, you see, mm, I mean, this guy's not playing. So we had to pull his highest aggression to make sure he understands this is not a sport. We expect you, when it's on, to take the fight to somebody with high aggression to, you know, really fight somebody. And, you know, you got to hurt somebody if ever needed. So we have to make sure, unlike sport dogs, that these guys are in high, high aggression, but controlled aggression, where it's not out of control dogs, and that's why we don't allow this on the line bouncing all over the place. This is a highly skilled, this is making a highly skilled martial artist telling the dog, you don't just go out in life and fight everybody, and anytime you feel like it, you just bite whoever you want, no, you only use it when we tell you or the circumstances we've taught you, you're allowed. Other than that, you do not show your aggression, right? When we turn you on, you show it, but if we t shut you off, no. And in life, you don't just go after people only when we say it's time that we need you, then you're there for us, but in control while holding discipline. Okay, so I'll show more videos of Achilles coming up with more control things. So, there's Achilles update. So till next time, I'm Richard Hines, Miami Dog Whisperer. Ah. Oh! <laughs>